Colo Fire is a volunteer department. Right now at the station, they have their flag at half staff to honor Mark Farron. Farron served as their chief for more than three decades. He was chief up until the day he passed away on Sunday after a long battle with cancer. When the bells ring, three sets of five rings. Firefighters know they've lost a brother. It is with deep regret that the COLA Fire and Rescue Department announces the passing of its fire chief, Mark Farron. Badge number 1104 left this earth at 1104 Sunday morning. Chief Mark Farron was 58. Hundreds of people, many of them safety personnel, filled the Cornerstone Church in Ames, remembering Farron through prayer and music. Loved ones say Farron was a man of few words. Just a very humble, very personable guy with very high standards. But what he didn't say in words, he made up in hours serving his community. The depth of his involvement in the community beyond the fire service was, uh, was tremendous, bottomless. Fire friends say Farron was an innovator. Under his leadership, Colo was the first fire department in Story County to carry vehicle extrication equipment. There's a lot of things that we do because of what he has done in the past. About 40 trucks from surrounding fire departments took Farron from the church to his fire station. From there, dozens of comrades followed Farron to his final resting place in the community where he dedicated his life. Farron joined the department when he was only 19 years old. He is survived by his wife, Julie Farron, and their five daughters. Live in Colo, Vanessa Payne, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News